Alright, shalom, shalom. Right, uh, first and foremost, I want to say, call hello, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahusha, Hamashiach, Ra, Katawashwaka, right? That's all praises to the Most High. We do so in the name of His only begotten Son, who are the inhabitants of the earth, if we call Jesus Christ, right? So, another week uh, to preach the gospel, another week to prophesy, right, and to give edification and uh, understanding of the uh, of the scriptures, right? So, right, bring it up. let's uh, someone give me Matthew 28 and uh, 19, and uh, I want you to get Acts 1 and 6, right? So, uh, right, so uh, prophecy, right? We would, uh, the men of the Lord in the last days, we will get more understanding, you know, of uh, certain prophecies in the, in the end days than the apostles and the disciples did when they was walking, you know, right after uh, Christ had died, right? So a lot of things that's going on now in today's world, uh, we have more understanding, you know, on it uh, than the uh, prophets of old, right? So uh, you got that, uh, Matthew, you got that, Matthew. Yeah, we got, this is the book of Matthew chapter 28, verse 19, and it reads, Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father. So we know that uh, when the Lord sent out and commissions us to go preach uh, the gospel, we went out to all nations because the Israelites, you saw called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are scattered in all nations, uh, pursuant to uh, Deuteronomy, right? Read on. And of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whosoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you all way, even unto the end of the world. So uh, the Lord had uh, told us to teach all things which he had taught uh, the disciples and the apostles, right? And the Lord didn't really give the full breakdowns of the prophecies, you know, um, in the last days to them. What he gave them was the understanding of who he was, you know, in, in prophecy, right? He told them that Isaiah 53 is him. He told them that uh, things like Psalm 110, that was him, right? So the scripture pursuing into his death, burial, resurrection, he taught them that he was that Messiah. But like prophecies as concerning like missiles, uh, America being Babylon, America being destroyed with thermal nuclear uh, fire, he didn't expound those prophecies unto them, right? We so read on uh, to verse 20. Right. Uh, 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 Teaching them to observe all things, whosoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always. The Lord is with us always. Right? You got that precept? Yeah. Acts 1 and 6. Yeah, that's the book of Acts chapter 1 verse 6 and it reads, When they therefore were come together, they asked him, saying, Lord, Yahweh Shai, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom of Israel? You see, when the, uh, when the apostles were on the scene preaching the gospel, they thought that the end of the Roman Empire was, was going to be the direct, um, the direct building or start of their own kingdom. That's why when the Lord returned, they asked him, well, at this time, will you restore again the kingdom of Israel? They thought that the kingdom was going to come uh, uh, to them well, while they were still alive, you know? Right. But the Lord, right, the Lord, uh, keep reading on that. Uh, they say the Lord, uh, it's like it, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Verse 7. And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the time or the season. So the Lord told us not for you to know the time or, or the season, right? But he did negate and say that the kingdom wasn't coming to uh, Israel, which it was if you read in the prophecy. Hey, brothers, y'all believe in the Bible? Can I just have five minutes of your time? Do you know who you are in the Bible? Uh, oh, man, he's drinking. Oh, man. But, uh, yeah, finish that. It say, which the Father have put in his own power. Right. Uh, give me Daniel 12 and 14, right? So, yeah, 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 go ahead and get your priest up. Our people are destroyed out here, man. And our people don't care about, um, they don't care about knowledge, man. They don't want to research. They don't want to...
beyond their, the scope of their understanding. They just want to feel good, man. They just want to parlay around town and do whatever the, uh, is pleasant, you know, to their flesh. Read that. It's the book of Isaiah, chapter 5, verse 11. Woe unto them that rise up early in the morning that they may follow strong drink. And I'm sure that brother woke up and had himself a beer this morning. He had himself a, a cigarette too, along with that, you know. That's just how a lot of our, uh, our older generation, a lot of our old men, how, that's how they operate, right? Right, right. Hey, sister, can I have five minutes of your time? You believe in the Bible? The Holy Word of God? Can I just have five? I just want to uh, have five minutes of your time and preach you the good news, you know? Because we're out here on the mission, the ministry that the Lord, our Savior, who you, uh, who at Ikri, you call Jesus Christ, right? We just trying to show you who you are in this Bible. Because it's very impairment, you know, that you know who you are in this book. Right, right. You know what? I never, I, I, I have been a guy in my life eight years. God is my name. Right, so do you know who you biblically descend from? What does God call you in this book? Do you know? Right, like who who do you descend from? What is your biblical nationality? Who do you descend from? Do you know? Jesus. Do you descend directly from Jesus? Not from no one evil or nothing like that. You know what I'm saying? Sister, if I was to ask you what is your nationality, what would you tell me? Black African American means black. Okay, okay, that word black, right? If you go over to Africa and ask the, the Africans over there what nationality they are, they're not going to give anybody a color. They'll tell you who they are, right? Their, their country that they're from. They'll give you a tribe, and they'll even uh, tell you what flag they represent, right? So why is it that us, the Negroes over here in this side of the earth, where when um, people ask us our nationality, we give them a color? Why is that? Sister, we just out here, yeah, get, her, get me Deuteronomy uh, 28 and, and 15. Sister, we just out here to let you know that you are an Israelite, more than likely you are an Israelite. I believe Jesus Christ, God is my name. But you have to understand, you understand that Christ is only coming back to save the Israelites who repent. So it's very it's important to know who you are in this book because there are judgments for certain nations in this book. So you have to know this information, sister. You, you just can't sleep on this, right? You, you, you just can't sleep on this. So give me, uh, hold that. Give me uh, Matthew 1 and uh, 21. Let's hear what Christ has to say. Let me just read you this, right? Shalom, Ma. Shalom, Ma. Shalom, Shalom. All right. Read that right there. Matthew 1 and 21, right? It's the book of Matthew, chapter 1. So lock it. It's the book of Matthew, chapter 1, verse 21, and it reads, And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Yahweh Shai. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sin. Right, so who is Jesus' people? He's going to save his people from their sin. So who is his people? So we, we have to go into the Bible and prove that not everybody is his people, right? Well, Coach some of them is tail holes, and I'll never be a tail hole. I'm God. God is my baby. It's just, just hard to deal with a lot of people when they make uh, blatant statements like that. But listen well, to what the Bible says, right? Matthew 2 and 6. God is my baby. I know how to do myself, play with myself, and say, you do it. Matthew yeah. chapter 2, verse 6, and it reads, Then Herod went, so like it, then Herod, when he saw that he, 2 and 6, oh yeah, so like it, it's saying, And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least among the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor, that shall rule my people Israel. So his people is Israel. So if you are not an Israelite, he ain't, he wasn't sent to save, right? To save you. So, sister, are you an Israelite? But we read it directly. 
we read directly from the book, you have to believe on Christ as the scriptures have said, right? Anything other than that is our own vain opinion, you know? How can we function as a nation of people when we all can agree on one thing, right? We we both believe in the Bible, right? Agree on one thing. Because everybody is different. Everybody is but and we have to mind. have the same mind though, right? That's the scripture say. If we both believe in the Bible, why can't we come together and agree on I the scriptures? Know. Everybody is different, baby. That's not well, everybody is different to the a certain uh, degree, but we have to have the same mind, which the scriptures talk about, right? We ain't got the same mind. Everybody got different minds. Give me, minds, uh, different hearts, different give me, souls. give me, uh, First Thessalonians. Uh, I'm gonna go because I gotta go on my list. I'm gonna let you know. Yeah, you got peace up. Yeah, yeah, read that. This the book of okay. Deuteronomy. Here it is, sister. This the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 28, and it reads: It says, "The Lord shall smite thee with madness and blindness and astonishment of heart." And thou shalt grope at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. So yeah, man, the Lord has spitting our people with astonishment, with blindness and madness, man. That's why we have a lot of our own people that walk the streets, right? They walk to and fro, not understanding what's going on in, in today's society, man. Just blind, right? Precepts. Look at Amos chapter 3, verse 3, and it reads, can two walk together except they be agreed? Sister, you hear this? You just said everybody is different, but the Bible speak differently against that. Right? Read that over again. Can two walk together except they be agreed? Right. So we both believe in the Bible, right? So why can't we agree on the scriptures, right? Know. Read that over again. Amos chapter 3, verse 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? So we have to agree on the scripture. We are here to show know, you who no. you are according to the scripture and so that you may be able to repent, right, and believe in the gospel as oh, Christ and the disciples have said it, right? I Precept. Don't know. Good, good. Yeah, hold on. Precept. Book of Galatians chapter 4, verse 16. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Hey, sister, have we become your enemy because we're telling you the truth? We out here telling you the truth just straight out the scriptures. Right? Read it again. Galatians chapter 4, verse 16. Am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Right. You giving us a donation? We, we, yeah, we trying to get your mind right. We don't really need, uh, we don't take uh, donations, right? We trying to get you to come to this book by fully believe and dive into this book. Go ahead. Right. Hey, sister, I got a question for you. All right, who do you go to for everything? What person is, when you go work or when you do anything, who do you go to? The white man, right? You go to the white man. So who you go to? Who, who's the boss of all? Who runs, who runs America right now? Well, we in the hood, though. How do we run America? If you if you go down the block, you see liquor stores on all the corners. You see you see people killing our people, right? How can't you do nothing about that though? Now who's supplying you that money? The white man. That's the curses. That's the curses, man. We're trying to show you this. Deuteronomy chapter twenty-eight, verse fifteen. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice. Of the Lord thy God to we're trying to we're trying to get you to listen to this book, man, because we, we have nothing. We can't thrive in this society unless you know we have a God protecting over us, right? So we have to come back to this book as a uh, as a people and come under one mind, right? Read up read that over again. But it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right, so we as a people, we don't listen to God in his book, and so therefore, he cursed us as a, as a nation of people. Read that over again. That all these curses, all these what? All these curses, all these good things, all these curses, all these bad things are happening to our people as we speak, right? 
We are trying to get you to come back to this book. Please keep reading that. Shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Listen to the word, sister. Listen to the word, right? You saying that the God is your father and he wrote and he had this man wrote this book. Listen to his words. Read. Verse 16. Curse shall thy be in the sea. Curse thou shall be what? Curse shall thy be in the sea. chapter 8 verse 50 for many great miseries shall be done to them that in a lot of time shall dwell in the 